What's up, everybody? It's your boy back at it again, oh, Victor Kwan here with Alexa driving right now. Alexa, what did we just watch? We watched The Amazing Spider Man. The Amazing Spider Man's Homecoming. <clears throat> what and, are the other ones called? Um, Spider Man? Well, there was Amazing Spider Man. That's um, Andrew Garfield, no? Yeah, and there's Amazing Spider Man. And then Tobey Maguire? Just Spider-Man, then Spider-Man 2, then Spider-Man 3. Okay. Yep. Uh, well. Yep, Spider-Man. Yep, Supposedly one of the biggest franchises uh, in comic books, in comic book really? history, finally returns to to the ownership really? of Marvel, I think. Or something like, there's like some agreement between Sony and Marvel. Huh. Oh, Disney. Okay. I don't know. Huh. Anyway... Uh, can I turn the AC off, or do you want it yeah, on? Yeah, I can turn it off. I just turned it off for a little bit. Oh, all right. Well, maybe I'll just, just close my vents. I'll just close my vents. It's just a little chilly. Okay, so initial thoughts. Um, it felt long. Um, well, you're not like not long in a bad way, but there was a lot that happened. But I liked yeah, it. I suppose. Um, it was a good story. Um, what do you think about the young Spider-Man? Because we've only seen like fairly older, like, yeah. almost college-age Spider-Mans in the past. Yeah. That's, I mean, that's where it gets kind of interesting, because most of the time, like, well, a lot of young people I know can't, are not that, like, that wasn't, I could, I'm not capable of things like that when I was, like, 14 or whatever. But sure. also, like, this is, they live in, like, they live in the East Coast. They live, like, New York, whatever it is, and it's, Great. like, there's, like, um, they're, you know, like, people that live kind of in these, like, city urban areas, like, they're a little more independent, and, like, they get around on their own a little more. Uh, at least that's what uh, media wants you to believe. Yeah. Well, I mean, I could kind of, I could kind of see that, though. I mean, but, like, people I know that, like, say, in San Francisco, it's kind of like that. Sure, I guess. Yeah. But, yeah, I liked it. I like the story. I like, I like what they threw they threw at us um I was like um you know what one thing I, I I was kind of glad that they didn't spend much time on or any time really on well maybe well, I was going to say that you didn't, you didn't have to watch his origin story again oh yeah Usually when they redo a hero, like, you know, you have to see it all over again. Like, you have to see him get bit by the spider and discover his powers and, oh, and yeah, you yeah, see yeah. his they uncle skipped, die. Yeah, they skipped all of that. Yeah, you don't get to see that. And uh, uh, I'm, I'm okay with that, to be honest, because at this point, everybody's seen that. That's true. Um, they, yeah, they, they knew that. But it does take away from his character a little bit, though. Whereas you don't really get to see much of, like, his motivations as being a hero. And, uh, and so he kind of, the whole movie, he just kind of, he didn't come off as, like, anyone really special, in my opinion. He just came off as, like, he's the young, the young kid who wants to be an Avenger. And that's all, like, that's, yeah, what, his, sure. that's what his personality yeah, is. Yeah, because all what they had to go off of was, was it, his introduction in that previous in Civil movie. War, yeah, yeah, right. I mean, in, the, in this case, like, that works because of how many Spider-Man movies there have been and, like, just with this, the story, the bigger story of, like, all the Marvel, Marvel Universe stuff. Yeah, it's, tr it's true. I don't think, though, that, like, it, in this way, it, it feels almost as though that Spider-Man isn't probably going to be a franchise. Yeah. As in, like, well, they're not going to... Well, Spider-Man will return. Well, yeah, because he's he's going to be in the Infinity War films. Goodness gracious. <laughs> I'm I'm like he's going to be in like the Avengers films, but he's not. I don't think I don't think we're going to see a Spider-Man two for a long time, yeah. if we ever will, uh, because I don't. They, they didn't really set him up, his story up, to be that. Right. It just almost seemed like a That's one true. one off yeah. film to kind of like give get get people more familiar with Spider-Man. And then, like, you know, you'll just see him a little bit in, like, the Avengers films. Yeah. Which I guess I'm okay with. However, I am. What, what did you think of the Vulture? Michael um, Keaton. I think I like, I like that 
he has he's a bad guy that makes sense. Yeah. Because like he his reasons make complete sense and, and, and it's just you know, like that's just what happens. Like people people have motivations and to them it seems right, but it's like But to, you know, and the, and then, like, I like, they made it, they made it kind of personal. Well, not, not personal, but, like, it, it meant, it meant a little more to the characters. Well, you mean, like, because he was kind of a product of, like, uh, what happened in the other films? Well, because, yeah. you know, yeah, like, so, so he's trying, he, it starts out with Michael Keaton's character salvaging, um, alien technology from the wreck of, of the first Avengers film, which I think was really cool because, you know, you always talk about, like, who accounts for the destruction in these films yeah. and, like, all these things that happen, uh, that look cool on screen, but you never, and you, you never really get to see what what happens to like the the people that obviously are damaged or yeah. or affected by it yeah. and so this is a and guy like how who, it gets cleaned up and stuff yeah yeah and so this is a guy who like spent all all this money spent uh, like you know he put his house up uh, to salvage the wreck and uh it was denied him from like a, a department um, what, what do they call it department of damage uh, yeah. control something like that and and then yeah, like he he stole some of the property just to create um, weapons out of the alien technology. Yeah, and I th- I think that's pretty cool, and it also makes sense like how he would get his. I don't know the origins of the vulture. Like I used to watch the Spider Man cartoon, and that's all I really know about Spider Man. Um, but yeah, in a lot of ways, like I like what they did with almost everything. Except with the except with Tom Holland as Spider Man, just because I don't know, I'm used to a more intelligent Spider Man, uh, you know, one who's very like he's very self aware and also self conflicted with his choices and his actions and mm-hmm. and his abilities because you know that's what Spider Man is. You know, he he's always regretting the fact that he never saved his uncle from dying and stuff like that. So. But we got a lot of that, I guess, from the Andrew Garfield films, and from and a good amount from the Tobey Maguire films. So I can oh, understand bless. why they wouldn't want to go that that direction. Plus, yeah. why? Because those are great. Yeah, Spider Man Two is one of my favorite superhero movies of all time. So, um, what else? Oh, the Filipino guy. Is he Filipino? He, he, he seemed Filipino. Bless him. <laughs> he, yeah, I guess he was a good character. I just like. I kind like, of a stereotypical buddy. I mean, it, I I like this one because they didn't, they don't go. It was just, it just, it was normal. Like in, in terms of like the diversity and the people that they used, like yeah, it, it they felt casted normal. Obama's daughter. They, <laughs> but you know, like there's some TV shows or movies, and they they just go a little extra, and they, it's like they were just trying really hard to like put in all these things. It, it, you I mean felt, like diversity? Yeah. Um, it's that, and then, like, I felt that way even just about, like, the action sequences, too. Like, the, a lot of movies, like, they do so much, and it's just, like, it's, it becomes too much, and it's just, like... an like, eyesore, you mean? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's like, not a lot I of think, CGI. I, I think, mean, like, like, yeah. like, Guardians kind of, I think, made me feel that way. Yeah. But it was because that was all CGI. Yeah. But it was just over a lot. Top, so. It was over the top and too much, but this one was, like... It, it's it, it's within reason like the stuff that happens the destruction I mean that's the thing too like there wasn't so much crazy destruction either sure you know like the other like the civil war was like like they they blew up a whole town or blew up a whole tower or whatever like that wasn't yeah. the case like this was just it was a kind of a smaller a smaller like bubble of action yeah, well, I mean, you know, because that was kind of what they wanted him to see come off as, like, just a neighborhood hero, mm-hmm. not like a, a hero on, like, a global scale like mm-hmm. the Avengers, but that's what he wants to be. He mm-hmm. wants to aspire to be that, but, like, um, Tony Stark is trying to get him to just kind of uh, be an indie indie 
person for mm-hmm. now. Wrestle in the Indies before he before mm-hmm. he makes it to the WWE. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, no, I think Michael Keaton was probably probably one of the better actors. Like uh, like, I think he made one of the better villains. Uh, well, what I mean is he acted the best out of most of the villains that I've seen in the Marvel Universe so far. Mm-hmm. Even though he's not, I doubt we're going to see much of him in like the bigger, the grander scale of villains like Loki and um, yeah. I, I don't know who else there is. I don't uh, know, don't ask I me. I forgot, who are the other villains? Uh, don't ask me. I don't know. Well, Loki, Thanos, Ronan the Accuser, like the, the big scale villains with superpowers. like. Vulture is on the very, very low tier, yeah. and that's kind of unfortunate because I'd like to see more of Michael Keaton. Uh, I think he did a really good job, as, and like he played the character um, really well. So mm-hmm. it's just a shame that we're probably not going to see much of him in the future. Anyway, uh, anything else you'd like to add, Alexa? Sunday, I didn't have much going on. Who the f- who who is Zendaya? Why is everyone giving me like st- I know who, I know this chick that you're referring to in the film, but like yeah. why is everyone give, like making such a big deal out of this girl being in this film? And why I does she know. only have one name? I don't know. Who is she? Seal? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, she has a name. She has a last name. Okay, but why is she? Okay, who she? Who is she? She's though? a, she a singer? she's from Disney Channel. Oh, she's a okay. Disney Channel. She started out acting in Disney Channel. Oh, okay. And um. And she's just, she's, I mean, she's, I think she's out of, yeah, she's not in Disney Channel anymore, but she's one of those um, kinds of act, actors that, are, that like, speak out about, like, body image or whatever, and, like, race, because she's, like, mixed race. So she's just, like, vocal about all those hot topics and stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, so I guess people, and you know, yeah, people were excited that she was in it because she's a, she's a Mary Jane that's like not Caucasian and whatnot. But she's not the love interest though. And she's not the love, yeah. And I mean, I mean that's cool too. Like, it doesn't have to be like that. Like that's cool. Mm-hmm. Mm. But she was just there. Sure. Um. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Anywho, uh, how many um, how many stolen uh, alien uh, salvage wrecking wreckage th- pieces would you give this out of ten? Seven point nine. Seven point nine. Okay, I will match your seven point nine with a seven point nine. Really? <laughs> <laughs> because we never we never agree on the same number. Uh, so I feel like I was gonna give it like an eight. But seven point nine is just basically an eight, so yeah. I'll give it a seven point nine too. Yeah, it was good. I liked it. Yeah, it was good to mm-hmm. it's fun to watch. It was it, it it was lacking a little bit, but you know it was like it was like a if there was if there were they were going to make a light a more light hearted, um, a Marvel film like this this was the one to do it in I guess mm-hmm. because it's a kid and. He's in mm-hmm. high school. And... Yeah, it felt very, it's like very summer, summer movie. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 There's, there's not a lot of drama in it. Like, you're not going to, like, yeah. feel sad or anything. Yeah. You know? But, yeah. Anyway, um, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, <laughs> uh, share on your Facebooks and Twitters <laughs> if you can. Uh, you know, also, if you follow our Patreon, you can find the link right here if you click down there that keeps uh the production value this high you know because i know you guys like our our promo code uh alexa daniel and use it on uh casper mattress and me undies and blue apron and squatty potty and squarespace (laughs) And DDP Yoga. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anyway, uh, you can follow me on Twitter at Victor underscore Quan. You can follow me on Instagram at Victor no underscore Quan. You can follow me on Twitter at Half Conformist and on Facebook. Well, 
on Instagram <laughs> at Alexa and Anne. Do we have any movies that we're looking forward to? Uh, uh, you wanted to see Dunkirk? I'm down. You know, I want to see I The Big Sick. I don't like... I want to support Asian Americans. I don't really care mm, for military just, movies, but I've been seeing the trailer for for like decades, so... I'm sure you don't want to see it just because Tom Hardy's in it. I want to see it because Harry Styles is in it. He's from One Direction. Okay. Okay, dokie. All right. Cool. Yeah. Cool we should, you know, what we should do this for too is like the end of like a, a season of a show. Yeah. Maybe like the end of Game of Thrones season, this coming season. Oh. We'll, we'll do an episode Maybe. just, you know, about rating the you whole season. You could have did that for like Better Call Saul. Or Glow. Yeah. Glow. We should do one for Glow. Okay. But it's like. It's not fresh but in our minds exactly. anymore. Exactly. I think it still would be. Mm. Anyway, maybe we if should just do. If you want us to do other alternate no. be sure types to of reviews, let us leave know. it. Yeah, leave a comment let in the description. <laughs> you want us to review something? Sure. No. We'll give it a shot. Yeah, there's gotta be some other movies coming out, but uh, oh, a Thor is is coming out like next month. Ragnarok. I think. So, yeah. Anyway, guys. Thanks, guys.